Hello, my beautiful Cancers. How are you, my loves? I hope this finds you well. My intention for April is to um, pass on the message that it most needs to be heard by as many people as possible. I'm also hoping it's a message more for you than obviously what's what's going on globally we all know what's going on we all are all aware of the effect that's having what i'm more interested in is helping you understand what you can do for your best benefit during this time how you can help you how you can use this to your benefit how you can use this time to learn use this time to understand and use this time to grow so let's see where we're at four of pentacles and the five of swords the current situation is hanging on to old wounds old arguments old hurts hanging on to it could be amongst a family oh maybe oh yeah um There's a saying, if you think you're enlightened, spend a week with your family. And I think this is what this is saying is that at the moment you are being forced to confront the stuff you've held on to because you have nowhere else to go. Um, what is the challenge in this situation? Too many cards. What's the challenge in this situation? Obviously, that's the challenge. But what's the challenge in this situation? Two major arcanas, my loves. The Hermit and the Moon. Um, the challenge is asking you to go in and look very deeply at what you may not have seen what may still be hidden from you. Um, the Hermit talks about taking time out, going in, seeking wisdom. Um, and really going inside, literally a lot, doing an internal deep dive. And the Moon talks about the unknown, the hidden, the unseen. Um, the shadow side. So what this is saying is you're currently hanging on to stuff which you're being forced to confront and the challenge for you is that this is this is what's happening. This is this is the situation and the challenge for you is that you're being forced to do this. Um, use it to your advantage, my love. I can promise you it might not be comfortable, but it's worth it. Let's see where you are in your thoughts. What's going on all up in your head? The Four of Cups. Four of Cups usually talks it to fours, by the way. This is happening a lot. One sign got four twos. Another sign got three queens. You've already got two lots of four. Bang, straight out the gate. Um, and this is also your card, four of cups. It talks about more of the same. Not wanting more of the same. Being offered something else that's more of the same and being bored with that. And I think that's what you're thinking is going to happen here with this four. I think you're hanging on to the fear that it's going to be exactly the same and nothing's going to change. 
Um, and, and you could keep thinking that as long as you had busy to cope with and to do things with, you could, you could keep thinking that. But now that you're being forced inside in, in this fortress, if you look here, there's a, there's a definite fortress, um, that you're being forced inside, you, um, you have to do this. You really don't like it, Cancer, and you're, you know, you're a water sign. You're used to this deep stuff. But maybe you haven't been paying attention. Let's see what you've been ignoring. Let's see what, what haven't you been seeing, what done you were aware of. Oh, the whole deck's upside down. Three of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. You haven't seen that this is working together for your benefit. This whole situation, if you look at, at this, it's all working. It's all working. And this is another wheel. It's all working. All of this has been working to... To help you grow and benefit this is really interesting what's coming up for you guys what's coming up that you need to be aware of what is coming up that you need to be aware of so I get the very distinct feeling it's not more of the same my loves I feel like I feel like that you've had this, bear with me, oh, I've just got this narrative going on in my head, that you had this dispute, family, family argument, disagreement, um, real, um, tooth and nail kind of at each other. And that, that created this wall around you that you've been hanging on to. And it's like, whatever this was, it looks like a some something split right down the middle. The two sides. Something split right down the middle, forming two sides. And whatever this is, you've hung on to it. You, you've basically put yourself in the middle of this and let that become your external. When this is all going on and you're being forced out of your busy mind and your everyday thinking and, and action and, and doing, which distracts you from all of this, you're worried that by be, by being, being put back into this environment, you are going to face more of the same. What you're not seeing is that this is happening for your benefit. This is happening for your highest good. And the challenge now is to, if you look here and, and here, the challenge is for you to go within into your cave and shine a light on what is hidden. This is the sun. That's the moon. Shine a light on what has been hidden. What don't you know about this? What have you just assumed about this event? And, and it could have been quite some time ago. So, you know, we, we, grow up and we change and what we perceive when we're younger we might realize as we get older wasn't actually what we thought it was and so that's what the challenge for you here is it's to really do some some soul searching and i think that will really be great for you like and not just 
oh, you'll heal and and you'll feel so much better and, and you'll be more at peace, which, yes, you will. But, but it will actually really bring you fortune. And this is this is the um art card but but in in a lot of tarot in most tarot it's the temperance card which talks about balance and patience and a real look at this yin yang sun and moon air and fire it's it's beautiful and then you've got fire and water. That's what's coming up for you. It's a real... Whereas this... Got it. Whereas this is a split down the middle. A division. There's another division and another division. This is all division. What this is bringing is a union. This is a union. Sun and moon bringing together, shining a light. And this is the same thing. Merging the two. Not staying split anymore. It's really calling, calling for a... Uh, uh, not a reunion, a, um, I'll get the word, I'll, I'll come up with the word, but a real heal, like a healing. What's the advice for cancer? What, 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 what? There's some advice here. There's lots of advice here, which, which, oh my Lord. Listen here, Cancer, this is huge because we've got some big things coming at you. Okay, this is a big one. Big, big. Sorry to do the pointy finger, but this is a big one. So far, you've got two major arcanas there. A major arcana here, a major arcana here. And the advice, my loves, is four. Count them, four majors. You've got the hanged man saying please look at things from a different perspective take some time out oh look time out take some time out look at things from a different perspective shine a light on what you haven't seen look at it from a different perspective find this is this is the magician card you have all the tools that you need to do this you have all the elements that you need to do this. And what I quite like is if the magician is turned upside down. You get my drift. Once you've seen it from the other side, you can create whatever you want. You will see the magic in what's happening at the moment. You will see the magic in what you're being forced to go through. Um, the next card was the Aeon card, which is the uh, um, Justice card. I love this card. This is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Look at that. This is not the Justice. Sorry, did, did I say Justice? This is a Judgment card. This is... This is this is the Mac Daddy of uh, karma, awakening, rebirth um, into the, the the new awareness, the new awakening, and it's the lovers. Now, if you look here, this is the cosmic egg. And in this card, you have the cosmic egg. And here again, you have the repeat animals. Do you see this? Do you see the repetition in here of the messages that are coming through? This is your 
chance and this is this for you cancer this is the, the biggest one i've done this month it is ma these are major major life transforming events these are the the steps these are the um Not this, these aren't the steps. These are the day-to-day -day details. These are the life events. And this is huge because that's your advice. So they're basically the universe spirit in this section is basically saying, we can't be any clearer now. We've shut everything down. We've sent you all home. We've made you take time to think and the only thing we haven't done to seriously enforce that is turn the power off on you so you have no external noise. But we're hoping that by sending you all home to think things through and see what's really important that you will take this advice. You will take time out. You will press pause. You will look at things from a different angle. You will rearrange how you've seen things to how you want them you will reevaluate things and therefore by doing that and understanding more of this situation you will create a different future for yourself and that will transform how you've been living this is a very 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 transformative time in our lives and it may not come again. So use it, use it, use it wisely. And this will unite everybody. It will unite everybody, especially yourself, your fractured self. You will... Two sides merging as one. Two sides merging as one. Sun and moon. Yin and yang. Male and female night and day all merging rather than this separate energy this this cut separate you me energy over here now we're all coming back together this is beautiful what's the possible outcome for cancer please cancer please listen oh lordy wordy me lordy wordy me Yeah. Now, bear with me. I see it. I see it. I see it. The outcome is the past. This is reminiscing. This is... Um, revisiting six of cups is going back and and either reminiscing or recalling or someone coming back from your past quite often um it could be going back to re revisit that and and the truth is going to come out now i don't like this card particularly because it's the queen of swords and she's chopped off someone's head off with his head. That's what I just heard. Off with their heads. Um, and I think... The truth will come out, but I... This came, this came out in reverse, and I couldn't work out why it would come out in reverse when it's talking about speaking the truth and finding out the truth the queen of swords is very you know i will cut you if you lie to me but i think what the reason it came out in reverse is because it's saying the truth was always there but you you weren't seeing your own role in it you were so busy cutting the heads off everybody else that you weren't seeing 
what you weren't seeing, if that makes sense. You hadn't taken the time to look deeper into the situation. And once you do that, you will, you will either see, give or receive a much more loving action or gift that you never realised was there. Maybe whatever this was, was done from a place of love and you mistook it for something completely different. But in it, the end result, my loves, is a brand new start. And it's I love this because Ace of Pentacles talks about being grounded and earthed and, and, and stable and very solid foundation. But if you look in the centre of this card, there's a red cross. And that talks about healing. Right in the very center. It's healing. So, my loves, please listen to the universe because they are not quiet in their advice for you this month. They are being fairly clear, my loves, on what they want you to do and they want you to do it for your highest good absolutely for your highest good this is beautiful this is truly beautiful cancer i hope you get something from this please let me know if you do if it resonates i wish you all safety and security and health and and wellness and love and everything you need right now um, but whatever you do, my loves, don't lose your sense of humour. Don't forget to laugh. It doesn't have to be all serious. Serious and light and fun as well. Don't forget your sense of humour. I love you lots. And um, I'm sending you virtual hugs and, as always, a great big virtual kiss. Bye.